Hey Virgos. Settle in. I haven't done the uh, story time reading this week. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get that done for you all tonight. I hope it resonates. If you don't know what the story time reading is, it's where I will read the entire deck of cards uh, and we'll see what story manifests itself for you. Okay. Take what you need and leave the rest. Some of you may not want to sit through the reading. I know some of you will. All right. All right. Spirit, give me messages here for the earthly Virgo. I'm shuffling. I've shuffled off camera um, and I'm just not, I'm not going to shuffle. I'm just going to pull the cards as I tell the story. All right. So we have nurture. Got nurture coming out first. Find balance. Okay, taking better care of yourself will be the best reward yet. Okay, let's just call this story story time reading for 2022. Nurturing, taking better care of yourself, getting out, getting and enjoying. I'm hearing the fresh air. Um, something about I know you all, some of you all are in the the winter headed toward the winter months. Maybe if you been cooped up in a house or you go outside, let some of that cool air hit you in the face. Okay. Hit you in the face. Finding balance in your life, uh, work, play, love, and don't just concentrate on one area of your tribe of your life. A lot of things in your life need to need to be balanced, Virgo. A lot of things. Okay. Every single solitary thing in your life at this point in time, you need to touch upon something and start working on making some changes so you can receive your well-deserved re rewards. Okay. And while we're at it, I have a 1555 uh, love reading on sale from now until uh, Sunday night at midnight. Uh, the information will be posted below in the comment section. Okay. We have love abounds, finding love in yourself, working on yourself. Um, if you have some flaws that only you need to change, that only you think that you have issues with, 2022 will be the perfect beginning for you. Or start toward the end of this month. You know, don't just wait until January 1st rolls around and say, this is my resolution. Get in the habit of doing it. So by the time the new year rolls around, you'll already be doing what it is you said that you needed to do. Okay. Loving yourself more. Okay. Lo still loving your flaws. Still loving your flaws. Okay. Being okay with who you truly are. You some you know what? A part of you, your inner self, or something about you is waiting for you to love you more. It's like I'm waiting. You know, I'm here constantly waiting, and and you know, I'm giving you hints, I'm getting you downloads, and saying, well, this is something that you need to do. This is a suggestion that that I've made for you to do. I'm waiting. You know, it's like your higher self, your angels, your spirit guides, something or someone around you, including your inner, your inner, your higher self is waiting for you to receive your well-deserved reward. But it starts with you taking, like loving yourself more. And we have change your focus. You're just like, you're focusing on the wrong things or the wrong person, the wrong people, the wrong place, the wrong thing. It's time for you to change your focus and turn it back around on you. All right. Um, hmm. I said a, a, a poem, a poem in, in the other reading I did before this one, uh, Virgo, uh, what the heck is going on? Um, that poem by Maya Angelou, Phenomenal Woman. Yeah. Look that poem up, Phenomenal Woman, and see how that may resonate with you, male or female, but specifically, you know, if, if it resonates with you, male, fine, you know, but I'm, that's the song I'm hearing. I'm sorry, song. That's the poem I'm hearing in my head, Phenomenal Woman, okay? You don't have to be a male to, to really pull it up and look at it and, and see how it could resonate at some point. Or males, you may have a daughter or a significant other in your life who may need to hear that poem. Maybe they want, they're going through some stuff, some body shaming, seeing some stuff online and how the, how the pictures aren't, how the people really are. And maybe, maybe that, that's a good reading for you. This is a good reading for you too. So you can maybe show a, a child, you know, or a teenager or somebody in your life who needs a little bit of self-love. All right. So in this reading, it's not just for females, it's for males also. Okay. Changing the focus and embrace your beauty, em embrace your femininity, embrace your masculinity, take it how it resonates with you. Okay. It's not always about the women, men. It's, it's not. Okay. Embracing who you are, believe that you can succeed at this and just listen, listen to your higher self, listen to the downloads that you are getting from, from, from spirit Virgo. I'm hearing I'm hearing Beyonce's Listen. She has a song called Listen. 
I think it's from um, Dream Girls, I believe. Listen, yeah. So Beyonce, listen, phenomenal woman, um, Maya Angelou. Listen, is it what you're, what you already know is like it's being validated once again for the seventh or eighth time I'm hearing. And embrace who you embrace, embrace your 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 beauty, embrace your masculinity. Okay, believe that you can succeed at weight loss, at eat, you know eating healthier, maintaining your healthy weight. Okay, um, a clear mind. Um, reg, I'm hearing a regulated mind for some of you. Okay. But you gotta you gotta listen to the good things that you hear. Incorporate the good things that you hear, the things that you know you need to incorporate into your life. Now's the perfect opportunity to start. Okay. Move. It's time to get moving. It's time to work out. Okay. It reminds me, I got an elliptical machine sitting behind me. I don't get on that bitch, but I, I gotta start. All right. We're gonna become very close. <laughs> we have moving, you know, working out, uh, maybe even getting a, a workout buddy or something. If that's something that you need to do, find. I think that when you start meeting people, maybe going out walking in your neighborhood or, or park, we have strengthening bonds. Maybe you're gonna talk. We have listen, talking to each other, maybe each other change, exchanging ideas and different methods of how to eat healthier, how to incorporate working out in your within your work day, maybe it'll help you sleep better, especially if you've been having a lot of issues sleeping, okay? Listening to each other, running ideas back and back and forth across each other and, and kind of like becoming friends, you know, complete strangers to friends, but you're doing something that's going to help, that's going to benefit the both of you all. And two, there's this, this website uh, if you're looking to lose weight, it's called Spark People. I haven't been on in a while. It's called Spark People, sparkpeople.com. So you may want to look that up. If you all are interested, maybe we can put our own little group together on Spark People um, or on, what was the other one, y'all? Hold on. We got Spark People. I think Spark, Spark People started charging. I don't know. I haven't been on in, in a while. Um. My Fitness Pal, if you all want to do My Fitness Pal, that's free. We can set up our own private group over there. If you're interested, just let me know. Better yet, email me, okay, if, if you want to start My Fitness Pal, and we'll just go from there. I'll give you all my information. We can hook up and hold each other hold each other accountable, all right? Listening to each other, bouncing ideas, and having our bonds strengthened strengthen as a group, okay, as an earthly Virgo crew, the group, all right? Spreading your wings, doing something uncomfortable that's going to feel comfortable and commonplace with you, Virgo. It's going to strengthen the bond within yourself as well. This is your 222, uh, 222, your 2022 uh, new way of looking at things, new way of, of handling who you are, okay? Changing things about you that need to be changed. Not because I'm saying it or suggesting it, not because your naysayers are telling you what you should and shouldn't do. It's about how you feel about yourself, what you need to change about you. Love. And we have share your share yourself, baby. <laughs> Where to get that from, y'all? Share yourself, Virgo. Uh, we have spread your wings, love, and share your love. Open up. Be willing to let somebody inside your your comfort zone to get to know this person more, to talk to each other. Share the love that you have within that you've been holding back for so long. It's time for you to open up and be ready to spread your wings and fly because you are somebody else's treasure. You better believe. You got to confront your, your, your fears. What's holding you back? We got the crown chakra and we got choosing your battles. Your these battles are within. We got seven, seven. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of sevens. Maybe you're getting ready to hit the pool. What do you call it? When you're going on the gambler casino, pull that thing and winning all that cash. All right. Confronting you, con con confronting the dark part of you that uh is 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 upset, is sad, is afraid, that inner child. Conf here I am, yep. Confronting your inner child. Why have you picked up that weight, Virgo? Why have you stopped loving yourself as much as you used to, if you ever did? You know, uh, what is it about your body? What is it about your whole entire being, your whole entire self that you feel has depreciated over the years? Choosing your battles, your battles within. Are you an emotional eater? Um, do you talk negativity negatively about yourself? Do you allow other people to talk negativity toward you? I mean, to you, it's like, you know, energy, energy vampires, you know, just 
politely say, well, let me call you back another time. I'm busy or, or I'm doing something right now. Stop allowing people to tell you their hard luck stories. You got enough of your own. All right. I got this one particular friend. I love her to death. But gosh, every time I talk to her, she just drains the energy out of me, y'all. I mean, draining, okay? We got to change that. Be nice enough to tell people, I'll call you back, okay? Choosing your battles, but also choosing your inner battles more wisely than you do, all right? Sadness and isolation. You got you to gotta find a way to stop being so isolated, so stuck up in a house. You may work a 40-hour day, 40-hour week, but you still are, are sad and isolated because you're holding all of those emotions in. It's time to let it out. It's time to go ahead and maybe seek some help if you need to. Talk to a trusted friend. You know, yeah, I just said about the draining people who is draining your energy. That's fine, but let it out. Find, find a professional if you need to or find somebody who is kind of like... They've always told you, well, you can come to me and talk to me about anything you want. Or hell, write it down in a, in a diary. Then you won't have to tell it to anybody. Draining their energy because of yours is drained. Put it in a, in a diary and let it out. Okay. And that way you don't have to worry about it. And you'll see next year about this time, you can go back and say, I've come a long way, baby. All right. This is you opening yourself up. Okay. Opening up your, your crown chakra and say, let's do this. Let's start this walking program. Okay. Let's start this communication. This for, for, for me, put a picture next to your mirror or something to the size you want to be or the size that you used to be. Um, Maybe put some uh, pictures on the wall of different fruits and vegetables and different things you want to eat. I haven't tried tofu, but I said I'd try it. I may, maybe I'll give it a try, but I don't know if I like it, but who knows, okay? So just try different things that you've never tried before and see what happens, okay? You're feeling alone, okay? You've, you've felt alone for a long, long time. That's why you've been uh, hiding behind the, your sadness and isolation, because you thought that you couldn't do better. You've, you've hid behind the weight. You've hid behind the rapes. You've hid behind the physical abuse, the emotional abuse, the verbal abuse. You've hid behind the incest, you know, the sweeping shit under the family rug. All that shit is over with. It's time to heal. Two twenty. I keep saying 222. Uh, 2022, Virgo, is the time for complete healing. Healing at heart. Talking to yourself, pause, more positive talk, okay? More positive communication with yourself and others. If you have this one friend who you love, but they always or they're always telling you about their problems and their issues and their uh, energy vampire, it's time for you to help him, help them heal too. Help them heal too. If you don't, if you don't want to stop talking or you want to disconnect, if you don't want to disconnect from that individual, it's time to help them heal too. Everybody needs to heal in 2022. We've been through a lot over the last couple of years, okay? No no more feeling alone, but you got to trust your higher self. You got to trust who you are. Oh, shit. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Emergency, emergency alert, National Weather Service, tornado warning in this area until 8 o'clock, 8.15. Take shelter now in the basement or an interior room. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. I may have to cut this short. We have heart chakra. We have trust and feeling alone. Trust what you feel inside. Okay. Trust that everything is going to be okay. If you take the steps that spirit is, is, is leading you, is guiding you to take when it comes to your health, healthy heart, having a healthy, uh, healthy heart, but also having a healthier mind. Say, I'm so sorry about that. Um, alarm. My phone is on silent, but of course those kind of things go through. Okay. No more feeling alone. There's no reason for you to feel alone when spirit is right there next to you all the time. Ancestors are, are there next to you all the time. Your, your people who have passed over who are on the other side are with you all the time. Okay. I, for whatever reason, you all have been feeling my father's father, my grandfather, Dempsey, a lot lately. The last two or three days, I've been feeling his energy so tough. I feel it right now. I feel it at home. I feel it at work. And, and the only thing I can think of is he's just around me for protection for whatever reason. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Ooh, I've been coughing like that the last couple of days. Okay. No more feeling alone. All right. Blossom. You're going to blossom. When you figure out who you truly are, you're going to blossom. Okay. You're going to blossom like a new dime. You're going to shine like a new penny. 
All you got to do is trust you. We have the alarms are going off. Daydreams and decisions, and we have opportunity beckons. Whatever it is that you daydream about, the way you want to look, the, the person you want to be in your life, who you want to walk down the aisle to, whatever, this comes from you working on you, um, learning more about your inner truth, your inner self, who you truly want to be in your life. Because the opportunity is opening up in 2022 for you to be a better you, okay? I'm going to end this, <laughs> you all, because uh, I hear these alarms. So I'm going to take heed and listen to what Spirit is trying to tell me to chill out. We can get back to this another time. I'm going to end this here because I think this is an okay thing, but I think that I'm going to just go ahead and we'll see. I may have to have a part two. So be stay tuned for part two to this reading. This is 2022, a new you. All right.